Hi guys. Uh, a couple of years ago now, I think, I bought this little hand-cranked toy fan in a charity shop and converted it into an electric generator to power a small toy car. I put a plate on the front here, put an electric motor straight in the middle that was connected to the shaft that this uh, fans connected to, so I connected it directly to there so that when you turned the handle it spun the electric motor which generated electric power to go to the little toy car and one of the questions I had in the comments at the time was can you reverse the polarity of the power by turning the handle backwards and the answer was no because there's a ratchet effect in here that stops you doing that. Now, I did intend to take it apart and demonstrate that at the time, never got round to it, and also in the meantime managed to break this, although it appears to turn both ways now, that's because the little ratchet is broken inside. I'll just put that back on again. hold it together. I'm holding it together because I've already taken the screws out because they're those funny little triangular head ones. So I thought I'd get them out. Right, it's going that way. It's not going that way. But it's not going that way very well because it's actually slipping. So we'll take it apart and have a look at the gearbox inside and have a look at how the ratchet effect works. It did have four screws in it. One, two, three, four. And I've loosened them all and two of them have felt fallen out. Right, there we go. So that's the main shaft with a single gear on it. That's driven by a slightly larger gear. And on the other end of that shaft, or on the same gear, there's a smaller gear there. So we've gone small to large, back to small, and under there we've got another gear. Which is a large. And then at this end, we've got a smaller gear that's driven by the... Let's take that out. By the crown gear that's on the back of the handle or hand crank and just there is the ratchet sorry about the background noise somebody's mowing their lawn so that little ratchet effect the way it works is it's got two teeth on it and a springy bit when you turn it one way those teeth dig into the teeth that are on the inside of here and when you turn it the other way the springiness allows them just to skip over the teeth Let's see if I can push that through from the other side right so if we turn it one way trouble doing that. Oh yeah, I think we can do it. So that way it turns okay and the other way it digs in and grips. So that's the ratchet. It allows it to turn one way and not the other. But that little ratchet is actually split. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Oh yes, you can see that quite clearly. So that doesn't grip on the shaft anymore. I guess I could try and glue it. That might work. Had to stop then. Postman's just been... So that'll be another Grandad's Postbag episode coming up shortly. So where were we up to? Yes, this is split. So I could try and mend it just by 
putting some super glue on it and that might work. And we'll have our little ratchet effect working again. Yeah, might do that. Super glue it back together. So there we are, that's the hand cranked child's toy fan disassembled. Oh, we'll leave that and see if that dries. Well, that should be dry by now. find my screwdriver again. This is the wrong screwdriver in case you're wondering, but it's enough just to get them started in position. see the ratchet effect I can stop the handle and the propeller or the fan keeps going let's go back a bit but if you actually stop it yeah, I can turn it backwards Repaired. I might put the electric motor back on it again and use it as a generator.